Welcome back to York Lions Stadium. The players getting set to make their way through the tunnels as we begin another match week in the Canadian Premier League. This being the final weekend in the third round. The playoff push is very much alive on a very pleasant evening in Toronto. Martin Nash will be hoping that these 11 men can at least start better than they had done in Calgary last weekend. Two changes to their shape today, including Anissa Di Rosario, who starts for the second time in the York United goal for Afshvin Gotby and his side with a record of three wins, five draws and 10 defeats. These are the 11 players that will start this match. A pair of changes for the Eagles as well. Gabby Batar, fresh off a Team of the Week nod, gets the start tonight. This is Kintav, settles it down. Tassadisa Di Rosario for the first time. Into the penalty area or into that left channel was, was the better option there than the, the early cross. Just out muscles Ferrari, it's a two on one, wide open Batar! He's got three goals in his last 25 minutes of play for Vancouver. It is a mistake and it is a lack of desire defensively from York United as Vancouver, through some relentless pressure, are able to solve it. Disa Di Rosario, it's not a minute in Ollie, but it's another early goal that York United concede. It's Vancouver turning it over in the defensive third. Santos from Gagnon Apure. Back outside, Samara lines it up and just about fools Callum Irving with the deflection. Santos, so clever. Babouli, options, he decides to shoot and drills that off the crossbar. An absolute cannon from the edge of the attacking third. Babouli and Gagnon Lapere both as York trying to get back into this game. Gagnon Lapere runs off, brings Kintab with it. It's in for Brian Wright, drifting back to the line is Irving. Diaz's ankle looking much better. Nice patience from Fry. Finds Kintab as Vancouver trying to double it up. Thompson goes hard into Kintab. Referees to Solo, waves away any shouts for a foul. Let's take a look. Foul or no foul on the York skipper? I don't think he's anywhere near the ball. It's an obvious foul. I think it is outside the box. We'll see again here. Yes, well outside the box. To his usual position of right back, and he's capable at his best of being the best right back in the CPL. So that is a big, big boost for Vancouver. G swung in, settled down. Santos turns his man around, hits this side of the goal. Santos from Ferrari, low to Babouli, returns, collision with Caden Chung, and Stasol is pointed at the spot. What did I tell you at the beginning of the match, Ollie? It's hardly a prop bet at this point, it's a certainty. The 25th penalty. He generally spreads it. I'm guessing he goes to the right side. What does he do? Babouli, a slow run up. Just sneaks it under the crossbar. Well taken penalty. Short. Now goes right at the keeper. Rocker Romero and Thompson. Does that go off the hand of Thompson? Vancouver certainly thought so. Crawford now into the box. Di Rosario bravely out and powerfully away. It's Elijah Adekubi who stands at the line for York United. And a foot raise, Irving caught in no man's land. This is going towards goal. Rocco Romeo comes back and saves the day. G 
just kept in. Romeo's on it again. Bounces once in front of Batar. Body positioning is key there. All the red and black shirts have dropped into the funnel area. They do not want to concede again. Wright takes a step. Ricci makes no mistake this time. They just needed the one. York United and the floodgates have seemingly opened as Austin Ricci puts the nine stripes ahead on his second goal of the season. Anthony White into the box. On it first is Sheen. Garcia, good patience, gets Ricci to bite Garcia, Tasty Rosario bottles it. White controls and goes back to Irving. It's a long way away from where Vancouver needs to be to try and salvage a result and avoid their 12th loss of the season. four matches. This just their fourth win in their last 14, but the home curse is over for the Nine Stripes who win at York Lions Stadium for the first time since June the 9th. And in their 22nd game of the season, the player wearing number 22 has the match winning goal. Adisa Di Rosario gets his first victory in the Canadian Premier League. And York United move level on points with the Halifax Wanderers and will temporarily go fifth in the CPL table as they win this match over Vancouver by two goals to one.